Okay, so let's look at number 10. We're going to find the equation for the parabola that has its vertex at the origin. Okay, so this is 0, 0, and satisfies the condition. So vertex is 0, 0, otherwise h and k are 0 and 0. And we have a focus, and this is a parabola, at 8, 0. So let's draw a quick sketch. If the vertex is here, and the focus is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, way over here, we know that the parabola is looking to the right, because it always faces the focus. Focus can be seen almost like a light bulb of a flashlight, if you will. So here's that flashlight pointing that direction, and here's where the light bulb would be. Okay, so that's a good way to know what direction it's going to be facing. Because it's horizontal, we know that it's going to be this um, a is equal to x, sorry, x is equal to a times y minus k squared plus um, h. And now we just have to figure out what goes where. Okay, so vertex form, this x value will go here for h. Okay, and this y value will go here for k. So all we really need to do is find out what would the a value be. Okay, so we want, basically we have this right now. By plugging in zeros, we just need to get a numeric value for k and we're good. Okay, so we're going to use 4ap is equal to 1. This is my um, equation that we use for parabolas. Okay, and we know that this distance right here, the distance that's between the light bulb and my um, vertex is 8. Okay, so that's this letter right here. P is going to be 8. Because it's looking to the right, we're going to make it a positive 8. So we have 4a times 8 is equal to 1. Otherwise, 32 is equal to 1. Sorry, 32a, that is, is equal to 1. So that a is 1 seconds. Okay, so if I write this out, I'm going to get x is equal to 1 over 30 seconds whoops, times y squared. That's my answer for part A. All right, so I'm going to do the same kind of approach where I have a graph that the vertex is at 0, 0. Um, but it says this time that it passes through a point to 8. Now this passing through a point, it's rare that we use this. But this is the x and y actual values that we're going to plug into this equation to see um, as far as what, what it's going to what it's going to give us as far as a, a simplified form of the parabola. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let me get rid of all this from part A. And the focus. There's another bit of information that I've overlooked is on the y-axis. So if it's on the y-axis, the focus can either be up here, where the parabola is looking up, or it can be down here, where the parabola is looking down. Well, because of the fact that the point is 2, 8, I can never touch this parabola anywhere with a 2, 8 if it's looking down. So it must be looking upward so that whenever it's looking upward, whoops, I can show let me go right there, that it's going to be going through and passing through. That's what that blue passing through meant. It's going to pass through a 2, 8. Okay, so let's say this is 2, 8 right here. I know it's not drawn perfectly to scale, but it's close enough. So there's 2, 8 as far as an x, y passing through point. Now, this is a vertical one. This is a vertical parabola, so we're going to have this y equals a x minus 8 squared business. Okay, and we know, again, I'm going to color coordinate this, that my x value is going to be... Um, zero, because again, the vertex was at zero, zero. Okay, so x is zero, and y is zero. So plugging those in, I get y is equal to a x squared. Now, instead of doing this 4ap is equal to 1, I'm not going to do that because I'm not given the p value, which was 8 over here. I don't have this focus um, given to me, it just said that it was on the y-axis. It's somewhere on the y-axis. It didn't give me an actual location. 
The only location it gave me was this passing through point of 2, 8. And guess what? I'm going to put 2 here for x, and I'm going to put 8 here for y, so that I can solve a a different way. So we have 8 is equal to a times 2 squared, which is 4a is equal to 8, divide both sides by 4, and of course we get 8 is equal to 2. So if I plug this a is equal to 2 back into this equation that I know, it's going to be a vertical one opening up. It does make sense and does verify that it looks like a quadratic that is vertically stretched by a factor of 2 that is positively looking upward. Okay.